Today we're going to carve a stool out of a log. I recently went up to New Hampshire to look for logs for a Swedish torch project. Now those logs I used were pine, but while I was up there, I found one log that appears to be some sort of hardwood, either oak or ash would be my guess. I used my 40 volt electric chainsaw to cut one end of the log into six pieces. It started raining on me while I was doing this, so I took a break for a couple days and then finished cutting it upstairs on my roof deck. The log wasn't completely dry, so I used a little bit of lighter fluid on the inside faces of it to start the fire. The wind was causing it to burn unevenly, so I rotated the log around to the other side. I used my machete to poke and scrape at the charred parts of the log to see how much of the solid wood was left. I then doused the log with some water and then used the machete to scrape away all the big chunks of charred wood. I started shaping the log with a 40 grit flap disc on my Ryobi angle grinder. This worked really well, but I was going through quite a few flap discs. So I switched to my turbo plane attachment, which has fixed blades and cuts really aggressively. With this attachment, I was able to carve along the burned out cut lines and create these sort of arches in the sides, which gave it a really interesting shape. I used my orbital sander to sand the log first with 150 grit pads before finishing it up with 220 grit. We sealed the log with two coats of Minwax Wipe-On Poly. Aesthetically, I love the contrast between the black burned parts of the wood and the sort of honey gold color. I also like how the organic shape makes it look different from every angle. It's quite the sturdy stool, but I think I actually might like it better as a side table. For more detailed instructions, check out my website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.